Update involving an ongoing story that we've been following for you involving the lack of work in elevators at a multi-story building that houses low-income elderly and handicapped people. Joe Hickman has the latest. The Ginny Lind Hall apartments are income-based affordable housing for those 62 and older or those with disabilities. And for years, the government subsidized high-rise in Central Springfield has had problems with one or both of its two elevators not working. When both are down, it leaves those in the upper levels who are in wheelchairs or can't walk unable to leave the floors they're on because they can't make it down the stairs. I'm scared about all this stuff. I feel like a hostage because there's no way out. I agree with her 100%. I feel like a hostage. I'm stuck in this apartment. If I need to go to a doctor's appointment, I can't even get out for that. Again this week, residents reported both elevators are down. And the manager sent out this note to residents that says, quote, the elevators are no longer working and need to be replaced. We are now looking over bids that were received and will be modernizing the elevators. I understand the inconvenience and frustration this will cause, and we are doing everything possible to get a temporary fix until the work for the modernization is completed. Also, maintenance will be here until 10 p.m., and a fire watch guard will be here until I get here in the morning, unquote. We left messages with the manager and the Cleveland-based company, Millennia, who operates Jenny Lynn and over 280 apartment developments in 26 states. We're hoping to find out how long it will take to replace the elevators, what the temporary fix would be so handicapped residents could get out, and what a fire watch guard is. We have not heard back. This is a perfect example when management is out of the area and is not available available to people when they need the services. Shelby Butler is the director of independent living for Empower Abilities, a nonprofit that provides services and support for those with disabilities. Things like equipment repair, or helpful devices for those who can't see, hear, or need help feeding themselves. Buller says the organization can be an advocate for those at Ginny Lynn because the disabled residents are not in a safe situation. The Fair Housing Act does say that buildings with elevators need to have access to all floors. I would say it's a discrimination against those with disabilities and those who are seniors and who use mobility devices mostly. And if people wanted to file a complaint, we would be happy to support them and do that here at the center. So we are here for you and we want to advocate for you. We do believe in self-advocacy and we can give you the tools you know, and the information to reach out yourself. Um, but we hope the city and the other members who are elected in our community really look at this as a priority so that it doesn't happen in other places. Late today, we heard from a resident that the manager had offered to move them to a motel if the elevators weren't fixed in a timely manner, possibly the temporary fix mentioned in the note. But certainly, residents who are disabled will be in trouble if there's tornadoes and emergency situations where people need to get to the ground floor or in a fire. Um, if there's no plan, then people could literally die. I'm in trouble. If I make it to the hallway, to the exit door, I'm going to get crawl out of my wheelchair and just crawl out best I can and, and pray that somebody finds me. Reporting for KY3, I'm Joe Hickman.